What's up SEO pros? Welcome back. Chase Reiner here and right now I am staying in an Airbnb in uh, the desert. We're pretty much in the middle of nowhere right now. Let me actually show you this. Uh, we got a house that's on this 108 acre property and you can see all the palm trees back there. Let me, it's kind of hard to do this with a laptop. Sorry if the quality is kind of bad. But let me just show you. In the middle of nowhere. Um, up the road from here, there's actually a hot spring. And we got into that this morning and woke up at like 6 a.m., just did a barbecue. But basically, I'm just on the road having fun. But uh, I'm still working on my SEO tools and my company. And so what I wanted to do today is I wanted to show you how you can get started making money with your blog with the new content editor tool that we just released on ShineRanker. And if you're not familiar with what ShineRanker is, it's an SEO tool that helps you rank on Google. So I wanted to uh, basically just go over this new tool with you and show you how you can start making money with a easy step-by-step uh, -step process. So hopefully you can see this okay. I'm, I usually do my tutorials on my desktop and so right now I'm on, the on my laptop and not really used to this layout, but this is a blog post I made uh, yesterday and you can go read the full blog post if you want. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. But basically I put together a step-by-step -step process and I just wanted to show you how to do it over video because uh, a lot of stuff gets lost in translation I think when you just write it out. So I'm gonna actually include this video on this post as well. But basically step number one is you're gonna start out with keyword research. So if you, if you don't have ShineRanker yet, just go over to shineranker.com Go grab a uh, free trial. Just click on this and grab a free trial. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your keyword research. So the keyword research tab uh, is really easy to use. All you have to do is click on enter keyword topics to get keywords. You're gonna type in some topics that you wanna um, get ideas for. So let's say we wanna show up for, I don't know, SEO. We wanna show up for uh, best SEO company or so, anything really. Could, it doesn't have to be SEO related. You could literally put in acupuncture if you want. And you don't have to put in all of the different keywords. You can just put in you know two or one, whatever you want. Um, basically you would put in more if you wanted more ideas. And then what ShineRanker is gonna do is it's gonna scan uh, Google and find all of the different keywords that people are searching for. So here you can see we got all the monthly searches here, we got the keywords, we got the average cost per click, we got the difficulties, and we got the in title results, which um, basically represents how difficult it is to rank for these different things. Now what we wanna do, is click on show uh, 50 entries at a time, is we wanna find the easy keywords, right? So if I go over here, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, oh, found one, um, Neil Patel keyword, next JS SEO, let's go to the next ones. Uh, SEO keyword finder. So these are all things that have less in title results, less than 10. And so if they have less than 10 in title results, chances are it's gonna be easier than a lot of these other keywords to rank. So let's say we wanted to go for Google SEO analyzer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this keyword and we're gonna go over to content editor. And we're gonna go up to the top here and we're gonna just type that keyword in. So Google SEO analyzer and click on content editor. And now what ShineRanker is doing right now is it's scanning the top 10 pages that are showing up on Google for that keyword. And it's gonna let us know what the averages are that we need to hit in order to be able to rank for something like this. Um, you're also gonna see down here all of the different past searches. So we got Web Design Castle Rock, Web Design Santa Barbara, all the other ones that I did before this one. I'm just gonna let that finish the scan. Um, while we wait, let's go to... Um, Let's go to our blog post. So uh, what we're gonna do is, by the way, I forgot to mention this, but what part of the process here is you can just go for any keyword and monetize after, or you can 
uh, sign up for an affiliate now, which is what you're going to end up doing, and then you can base your keyword research around that. So instead of going, um, you know, straight to here and uh, just typing in a keyword that you want to show up for, that you think you want to show up for, you can start out by finding an affiliate program first. And what an affiliate program basically is, is it's something that will help you um, uh, make money off of a tool that somebody else has already made. And so by the way, ShineRanker, which is how I'm going to show you how to do this, but ShineRanker has its own affiliate program. And so you can sign up for the affiliate program on ShineRanker, do some content with this process, try to rank or get traffic for a keyword around ShineRanker, and anybody who signs up, you get 30% reoccurring commissions on that. Um, but if you don't want to be in the SEO niche, let's say you want to be an affiliate for, I don't know, gardening tools, you can do that as well. But uh, it really depends if you want to just do the keyword research first, if you want to just get the traffic first and then find affiliates afterwards, or if you want to find the affiliate first and then do the keyword research. Either way is fine. The truth is, is if you can get traffic for something, generally you're going to find an affiliate for pretty much anything. Um, so that's why I kind of like to go for the traffic first because I'm not going to spend time trying to promote an affiliate if I don't really have any traffic anyways. It just doesn't really make sense. So. Um, anyways, here's the content editor, and I'll go more into the affiliate in a second, but uh, you can see we have all the averages. So we got the amount of words that we'd want to include on this page. We got the headings. We got the images. We got the paragraphs. Um, we should have more heading tags populated. This is something that we're still working on uh, bringing into the tool. Um, and then the words here is just how many words we need to mention in order to show up for this thing. So we got site, search, Google, your site, website, content, your website, users, tools. So all these different things that are showing up on average when people are um, looking for a post around this and then uh, clicking on that post. So these are the top 10 results, right? So what we could do is we can either write the content out ourselves, um, which is probably what I would recommend, um, or we could use some sort of you know, AI to do this. So um, if you're going to use an AI, I usually use Jasper. And it's not just because I'm an affiliate and because I've made money off of this. So let me actually show you an example of this. If I click into here, uh, Jasper, you can see I've made $5,000 in the last, um, since the last pay period, which was like a month ago. So this tool, it makes me about uh, $3,000 a month. So $2,900, $2,800, $3,500, $2,800. This month so far, I'm already at $2,200. And so this is just making me money on autopilot um, just by when I, whenever I rank for something and people go and click on the tool to use it, I make money off of recommending it, right? And so you can do the same thing with ShineRanker. So let's say we wanted to rank, what was the, the keyword again? It was Google SEO Analyzer. And we want ShineRanker to be the tool that we recommend, right? So what we could do is we could go over to something like Jasper. Let's go into the tool, log in. Go to our templates, long form assistant, start from scratch. And let's just say we want to make an article about uh, best SEO analyzer. About the best SEO analyzer. Okay. Um, now, I'm just going to put that there, press compose. And then here you can see it's giving us a bunch of content. Okay. And then now what we can do is we can take that content. And again, this is if you want to do AI. Um, if you are going to use AI, I'd recommend doing a little bit of human written copy at the top and then AI to, at the bottom to just you know, fill out the gap. Um, we've done that with multiple sites and, and they have been able to rank. But here, if I put this in, now you can see the score just went up. So if I hover the, over this, you can see it says eight. So now I have an eight out of um, 100 score. And it looks like Jasper didn't mention any of these keywords here. So let's just say we want to add some more keywords about this, your website, let's say. Go back here and let's say, please make an article about the best SEO analyzer for your website. Okay, and then we'll just start typing here. We'll just say your website, press compose. And now hopefully it's gonna be covering more things about, see, now it's saying your website. It's gonna be talking about some more related keywords probably. So copy all that, put it back in, paste. Oh, just went up, and now we are getting those keywords in there, which is great, okay? So that's the first part of this. You'd want to end up hitting whatever the average is, and then you would end up taking this content 
and plugging it in on your website. So you would you know, just basically make a blog article kind of like how I did with this one. Um, and then as far as the affiliate program, so like Jarvis, um, I, I was telling you earlier with ShineRanker, uh, if you go to shineranker.com, scroll to the bottom and click on become an affiliate, you can sign up and you'll get a link. Let me actually show you how this works. Let me just sign in, just create a random email. So when you sign up for this, you'll get a link here. And then basically in your post, like let's say you were talking about ShineRanker being the best SEO analyzer, you would put a link to the tool with that affiliate link. And then anytime somebody buys through that affiliate link, if they sign up, you get 30% reoccurring commissions every single month. Um, and so right now, ShineRanker, the base plan is 75 bucks a month. And so you'd be making per person, I think around like 20 or 30 bucks a month, um, which is pretty cool, right? And you get to help support me, you get to help support the tool and everything that I'm trying to do with the tool. And, uh, you know, I, I, my goal is that this tool is going to end up having all of the different SEO tools that you would want in one tool. So um, if you're not familiar with the tool, you know, we have all kinds of different things like traffic checker, keyword research, shine audit, if you want to do SEO audits. And we're have a, we have a lot more updates coming soon. All right. So um, what else you're, you're going to want to do if you're uh, doing blogging is you're going to want to uh, repurpose your content as much as possible. So a good example of this is this video right now, I'm basically repurposing from the blog post into a video, right? Because I, I took pretty much everything in this blog post. I'm just turning it into a step-by-step -step video so people can watch it. I'm going to embed it on the blog post, probably help the video rank, probably help the, uh, the uh, blog post rank as well on Google. And then we're going to end up probably turning this into a TikTok. Um, and then you can turn it into other things like a podcast, whatever else, Instagram, YouTube shorts. But the most important for, uh, thing for that is that you would actually use VAs to help you. If you don't know what a VA is, you'd, um, they're called virtual assistants. Um, you can hire them on Upwork, Fiverr. I have about, I think like six or seven VAs now. And each of the VAs do different things. Some of the VAs help handle customer support. Some of them handle uh, the repurposing of the content. Some of them handle you know, optimizing these documents with, uh, with the content editor. And so whatever you end up doing, um, if you want to do start with a blog post, it's a really good idea to start there and then end up turning it into a video and then turn it into whatever else. Um, if you want, I can make another video on how to repurpose all your content. I'm not going to do that on this video because it's supposed to be more of a quick video, but repurposing your content is extremely important. And then uh, one of the big things you really want to do is just collect emails. Now, what that means is that anytime somebody signs up for something that you're offering, whatever the free thing is, you want to uh, be able to capture their email. So anytime somebody signs up for ShineRanker, I get an email and I'm able to use that email to try to remarket some of the stuff that I'm doing. So whether it's a video like this, whether it's some sort of special deal. And so the more people you can get on your email list, the better. And I believe when you get people to sign up for ShineRanker, you'll click on referrals here and you'll actually be able to see their emails as well. So you can actually build your email list by promoting ShineRanker, which is really, really cool. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it, I think. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video and I'll get back to you. I'm going to keep trying to do videos like this on the road. I don't know how bad this video is going to end up being because again, um, it is on a laptop. I don't have my normal setup. I don't have a mic. Um, but you know, I just wanted to try to do something because I, I think it is important for me to keep doing uh, the videos and um, the blogging that I've been trying to do while we're on the road. I still want to work uh, as much as possible, but um, we'll see how it does. So thanks for being here and we'll see you in the next one. Until we do, happy SEOing. See you guys. Bye.